For your apartment over there. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh. How do you feel about um, making the team now? Now it's finally official. Um, just really excited, really grateful. Um, yeah, it just puts things in perspective. I think, um, you know, it was my fifth year pro, and I've uh, been to a lot of training camps and uh, gotten the bad news a lot. So it's good to hear it, uh, you know, go the other way this time. And just uh, super excited and grateful, and uh, can't wait to get going. What was the biggest difference in how you felt at camp this year versus last year? Um, honestly, I, I wouldn't say I felt too different. I think just another year of experience, another year of going through it. Um, you know, last year I played almost 70 games between um, the NHL, AHL, and AHL playoffs. So um, I think just as you get older and more experienced, you just feel more prepared. And um, just honestly, last season didn't end too long ago, so just tried to keep it rolling from last year. Uh, it was a pretty good end of the season, other than, uh, you know, losing. But uh, for myself, it was pretty good. So, What was the key for you, literally, physically, the difference in this camp, like in terms of performance for you? Um, honestly, just trusting myself. Um, you know, I, I still think back to when I um, signed my first NHL contract out of, out of college, out of school, and I played in the NHL four days later. And <laughs> I can't believe how unprepared I was back then, and I was playing in the NHL. So now, um, you know, starting my fifth year, I think just, just the self-belief, um, just the self-confidence, the self-belief, just knowing that um, I'm good enough to be out here with these guys and um, just trying to have fun every single day and enjoy every moment. And, um, yeah, just – just drawing on those experiences. Hey Joey, you came up uh, twice in the last two seasons. I mean, both seasons. Um, any different your last time up and how you played? Did you feel a progression from the 2021 season? Definitely, yeah. I think, um, you know, as you get more and more NHL experience and more call-ups and more games, that all, um, you know, you learn from those. Um, there's a, there's a great quote from Kobe Bryant that he talks about. He says, there's no reason to have self-doubt because no matter what, whether you win or you lose, you got to wake up and, and go to practice again the next day. Um, and I think each time I came up, I just tried to do that and, you know, just leave it all out there. And um, the last time I came up at the end of the year, um, I just tried to be myself and have fun and enjoy the moment. And, and um, you know, the games, the games went pretty well and um, just, just, you know, built confidence off of that. How's your, how's your groovy relationship? I think we're pretty good buddies, at least from my side, I think so. <laughs> You'd have to ask him, but um, I, I think we're pretty good buddies. I've, uh, obviously, we, we started here the first year in Seattle together. Um, um, you know, I wasn't on the team, but got to know him pretty well in training camp and throughout my call-ups the last few years, and he's an unbelievable guy and an, obviously an incredible goalie, and um, I just can't wait to learn from him day to day. Um, he's, you know, he's obviously won a cup, and he's been around a long time, and he's a great goalie, so um, I'm really excited to work with him. Is this moment a little more special because you've been with this organization since its beginning and you've been here since the start and now you can say that you're on the NHL team? 100%. Yeah. I, as, you know, I, I think back to um, getting drafted in the expansion draft and how excited I was. And, um, you know, to really to see the progression and all the hard work that went into it, um, two seasons in the, Amer uh, in the American League, um, you know, with the Kraken uh, American League affiliate and, and just grinding. Um, you know, it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of games, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And um, just to see the, the progress and see it all pay off and then to make the NHL is uh, pretty cool. So since we've heard about the Amamba uh, mentality now, where do you put yeah. Kobe as far as your all-time athletes that you admire? <laughs> um, he's up there. Tom Brady's number one. Roger Federer, number two. Kobe's probably in the mix for three. Um, maybe Tiger Woods would be up there, too. Um, yeah, I, I actually was drafted 199, which is the same as Tom Brady. And being a Boston kid, uh, you know, he was drafted 199. So it's pretty cool to uh, have that kind of connection with him. And, um, and then my mom's from Switzerland, and I'm a big tennis fan. And Roger Federer, uh, I, I didn't miss a match of his for, for a long time. So um, big fan of those two guys. And Kobe's right up there for sure. How did they uh, break the news to you that, that you made the team? Um, well, actually, I think. They just grabbed me a second ago, Ron and uh, Hack just grabbed me a second ago. They wanted to grab me before practice, but we were already on the ice, the goalie squad early, so uh, <laughs> they missed me before practice. Um, and then they just told me right now, so yeah. Did you kind of figure it out beforehand, though, based on who um, was I out there? things were looking pretty good when um, there were only two goalies on the ice, and I was <laughs> one of them. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, honestly, um, I just want to shout out Chris. He went through so much, and um, he's an awesome goalie, and he looked so good in camp. and. Um, I'm just really proud of him for how he battled and competed and uh, worked his way to get back. And, um, you know, he'll be back in the NHL in no time. He's an awesome goalie and an awesome person as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Congratulations.